On the tarmac in Beijing, Iran's foreign minister says he's in China to consult with one of Iran's closest allies, an important partner in pushing through the 2015 nuclear deal. Javad Zarif's next stops include Moscow and the European Union headquarters in Brussels. The European Union has made the most demands on Iran after the US withdrew from the nuclear deal, urging us to stay committed to the international agreement. European countries must guarantee that despite the US pullout, the interests of the Iranian nation will be preserved. But even as Iran's top diplomat is talking to world leaders, Iranians at home are growing tired of the agreement altogether. Another session of Iran's parliament. Political players place bets, take stands, and make promises. Today, no American flags were burned, but they did talk about it. Some MPs even disagreed with what they said was an undiplomatic political stunt on the floor of Iran's legislative body last week. A school field trip is treated to a first-hand look at how Iran's laws are made, anti-American tirades and all. But the real lesson of the day? When it's all said and done, governing is all about the economy. Parliament has been in session for a couple of hours now, and so far, every issue that's been raised for discussion, everything these lawmakers have talked about so far, has centered around the financial health of the country. And one MP's message to Europe, the time has come to take a stand. Europeans should appreciate the opportunity. We are very serious. If they want to focus on Iran, they have to be independent against Americans. Even if sometimes it means the US hits Europeans, they should resist. They are waiting to be independent, to be a political giant. We suggest to them, come to be one with us and we will stand against the US together. No laws were passed, but there was no shortage of opinions. One MP's comments stood out. He called for solidarity between the different branches of government, warning of U.S. plans to use the nuclear issue to divide Iranians and topple the government. And in the same breath, he asked for another lane on the highway in his constituency. A gentle reminder that all politics is local. And a message to President Hassan Rouhani. Your parliament supports you, but the nuclear deal did not work, and perhaps it's time to let it go and get back to fixing problems at home. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.